So at the moment we've got a background, we've got a character, we want to add a bit of an animation to go with this character. So we're going to click on it, right click, and click edit. And we want to focus on this animation frame at the bottom here. So first of all, click on animation frame zero, right click and duplicate. This will create a second instance. Now these two look identical, but they behave separately. So for instance, if I was to just set this pink color here using the eyedrop tool, and I was to get rid of the eyes there, you'll see that these two are now completely different. And we can swap between them. So what does this mean in terms of our animation? Well, if we go to animation one, we select loop. So this keeps repeating this animation and then hit play. We can start to see what this animation looks like. So very, very simple animation, only going between two different objects. Let's add a third frame. So we duplicate again and let's make him do something slightly different this time. And let's say he's going to close the eyes completely. And then we'll duplicate once more. And he's going to have a really big yawn. So not the most exciting animation, but it does the trick. So really big yawn. And then I want to go back to this one. So I can just move that one across. So let's play it again now. So close his eyes has a really, really big yawn. I might want to think, okay, I want a slight change. I want him to open his eyes slightly before going back to having his eyes fully open again. So very, very simple animation there, but it gives you the idea. So what else can we do with this? Well, currently we're working off a loop. The other option that we've got is we've got this ping pong option. So the way that a normal loop works is we go zero, one, two, three, four, zero. With the ping pong option, what this will do instead is it will go zero, one, two, three, four, three, two, one, zero, one, two, three, four. So it doesn't go back to the beginning, it just goes down with the way and then back up. So if we put ping pong on and we play this, you'll see that it works a little bit strange to what we've had it before. So because I've set mine up normally, we'll do that. But there are some benefits to using this design. So now we're done. We can press exit and we can run our game. And you'll see that we've got our character running through the animation. Now currently we can't see our character very well. We can't move our character if I press any keys. That's something we'll look at in the next video.